this pause is pretty cool. It has uh, three uh, stores that uh, I go to a lot. One of them is the uh, Unique. One of them is Shoppers World. It's another discount store, but they don't sell anything used. And then Big Lots is over here too. So maybe I can check out all three today. Never been to this uh, Big Lots before though. Yeah, I went to the Big Lots after I went to the Unique. There wasn't much. I did find some clearance shakes, but not something that I'm, I'm going to be putting on eBay. So probably won't visit this Big Lots in this plaza again. But the Shoppers World I haven't visited either. But let's check out this uh, Unique. Look at this. So again, uh, apologize in advance with that dumb uh, date and timestamp on the upper left. Uh, th this is my second shot at recording videos with this second camera that I got on Amazon. Um, but I'll be sure to disable that timestamp in the future. I know it's bothering me even looking at it on my screen as I speak to the computer. Uh, but yeah, so as I said before with the Uniques, the majority of the items that are sold in these stores, it's going to be 80%, maybe 70-80% clothing. Uh, and, but they usually have towards the sides of the store. That's where you're going to find like hats, bags, um, and other items. And this particular store, they had a, like a little annex to the store. That's where they had like all the electronics and like the home goods. But just walking by here by the hats, they had a bunch of hats here. But again, it's nothing really struck my eye out. Um, I, there are a lot of like corporate branded hats and bags I guess folks that worked at specific companies they would get these for free from their employer uh, and then I guess when they leave the company or, or maybe they just don't have a use for these articles anymore they're donated so not something that really struck my eye uh, there were some sports gear here but again not something that would really fit me um, my size is like a 3XLT for me to, to buy and flip clothes in thrift shops i've seen it before on other ebay vi videos and stuff but it's just something that i'm not yet comfortable with being that with clothing like i said in the past it's maybe out of season i know that retro is coming back but for men i don't know how that looks or how that would work uh you know so i, I just skip out on that So notice these are like the home goods. It, it, this store had a pretty big home goods uh, electronic section, but again, everything is all over the place. So take some time and just walk around the store and see what, what they have. I mean, you know, here it, it's definitely worth walking slow, crawling through the customers that are already there uh, and just seeing what, what you can find. Cause you know, I, I found a few pretty neat things here and there at this particular location. I mean, this is probably, I guess, the the U.S. flag side. Um, I didn't see much. I didn't, to be honest, here I kind of missed the boat on looking at the items on the top half of the store. Uh, these are like the video games, the board games and stuff. You know, I, I try to take a look at items that are sealed. You know, if it's opened, you run the risk of it missing pieces. But again, I guess you can buy like two board games or and then replace pieces from there. Uh, it's just something that I'll have to do more research on. I, you know, board games, I never really grew up with board games and stuff. Now, in this particular section, I saw this boxed uh, item. I found this uh, porcelain uh, annual Reverie Bull. Uh, this is something that I checked on eBay. It looked like it was like a return from uh, Macy's. Uh, I, I checked it on eBay to see if it had any value. Um, it, these items did sell. I, I didn't see one for the particular year. I believe this was a 2019. So this is from the last season. But they it, it did have a good exchange rate on eBay that people were looking for and buying them. Uh, the cost on this at the store it was it was listed at six dollars, but with the fifty percent off coupon, it came out to three dollars. Uh, so you know, if I list it on eBay, I think I listed it for thirty bucks. I'll be happy to take fifteen dollars 
twenty dollars plus shipping, uh, which I, I'm pretty confident that I'll get that for the item. So it's not a bad return on investment. With this camera, I'm not too confident. You know, with how it projects the phone screen onto the camera, you can't really see the 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 prices and the icons. So I have another camera. I'm gonna I'm playing around with the camera to see what 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 works best. ton of uh, sports trophies. I don't think that that's going to have a pretty high uh, resale value on eBay, but I mean, if you needed trophies and you wanted to rip off the name on it and reissue it, not a bad idea. Uh, so here I found a uh, cassette player. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since I actually use a cassette player. Uh, you know, sometimes you go to these uh, thrift shops and you find uh, cassettes lying around, and you know you want to know if it works. So this one was listed at 4.99 with the 50% off. I paid 2.50 for it. Cassette players have a have, have a pretty decent resale value. Uh, I wasn't unable to test. Well, I, I did test this one at the shop because I bought the CD player uh, two videos back. So I, I had my wife carry the CD player with her with a pair of headphones and batteries in it. So I was able to get the CD player with you know, the batteries and the headphones, pop it in. And then they had a tape section. So I picked up a Kenny Rogers cassette. Uh, it's a the 10 years of gold. Tried it out on that. Now, the cassette player works, but you just have to like hold down on the play button. To hear the tape so it's not something that i could resell but it's something that at least i could take with me when i go to these, these thrift shops and so sorry, test out the cassettes and stuff sorry about that thank you now here i found the in vion digital key photo chain um, it's like a photo chain that you could put pictures on and you can take it with wherever you go i uh, checked the resale value on these on ebay not something that's in demand. I guess people have smartphones, so they don't really need to take their pictures with them on their keys if they have it on their phone. So it's definitely a good idea. You know, you see some of these items, they look sealed, they look pristine. You may think that they're vintage, but there really isn't much of a demand uh, for it. Came across a uh, Vivitar camera, it was in a package. Uh, it was already pre-opened. Uh, again, on this one I checked uh, on eBay. Didn't have much of a, a resale value on it, so I just put it back down. You know, it was a pass. Uh, most of the cameras that were there, too, again, these cameras, I didn't know if they worked or not. And, again, it, it wasn't something that was in demand. Typically, items that, items that like, especially like cameras, if these cameras have any sort of high value, they typically have it behind the case uh, at the thrift shop so that people don't steal them. Now this was a really cool find over here. Cool. This was the uh, MX8 function calculator. This is like a really retro, vintage, old style calculator. Uh, this calculator was, you had to plug it into the wall, had a carrying case, it even had like the instruction manual. So opening it up, 
we see the calculator. It's something that it looks old. It looks something that you don't you don't see anymore in the stores. Uh, this one had a resale value, so the cost at the store is fifteen with the fifty percent off. Would have been like seven fifty. Resale value on eBay. These these were moving uh, at about fifty sixty dollars. Uh, this one had a good quality to it, but like I said before, with thrift shops. You know, with electronics, you want to try out the electronic because most of these shops have a all sales or final policy. So I did have the opportunity to test it out, plugged it in, and it never turned on. Maybe, maybe it worked, but the LCD was just done or too dim, so it wasn't worth it for me. So a Olympus. Uh, Audio recorder, it's a mini cassette recorder, would have been two dollars. I honestly didn't check on eBay to see the resale value. I probably should have. These may have a pretty good resale value. Uh, and then I also came across one of these uh, home microscope kits. Uh, this was actually brand new. Uh, it's a Smithsonian. It would have cost me around three fifty for it with the fifty percent off. Um, as you can see, it was brand new. I checked the resale value on these on eBay, but it, they were moving ultimately I decided not to take it so I put it back But here, you, you want to take your time and look through all the items on these shelves. Sometimes they're really neat home items. Especially look at the tops of these shelves. That's where you're going to find like hidden gems, like little hidden electronic gems. Um, they, they put it in a little bag and they tag it. I found some pretty neat items uh, in other thrift shops in this particular location. So when you walk through these aisles, look, especially up above your head. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have the camera pointed in the right direction, but definitely want to look on there. So this is the book section. There were a lot of books. Uh, the books all had prices on there. They all varied. Uh, there was also a section with DVDs, with uh, music CDs. Nothing really caught my eye. I mean, with books, you could, you could probably sit there all day and scan the uh, the barcodes and see what what's moving or not I, I just didn't have much of the time uh, this day to do that so I came across this uh, Hello Kitty bag you know Hello Kitty is something that I'm very aware that it's something that's very popular a lot of people like to collect Hello Kitty items and add it in their collectible items and stuff so I checked this on eBay to see if this particular Hello Kitty bag, this is a laptop bag, I would say it's like a, for a 14 or 15 inch laptop. Uh, check the active listings. It looked like it was around 25, 20, 25, $28. Uh, some of them were free shipping, some of them were plus shipping. Um, so at this particular store, I think it would have cost me between seven and $10 with the 50% off. I looked at the track record for this item. There wasn't, there weren't many sales. I mean, I, I know one bag had sold like two weeks prior, but looking at it now from here, uh, twenty for almost forty-five dollars with the shipping. I think I, sh I missed out on this one. So the bag looked like it, it was in good condition. Um, I don't think. I mean, it had that little string on there, but I don't think if it if it was used. I don't think it was used much. Maybe it was used like maybe once. Maybe that one item that you buy and you work in a super corporate job and you take it with you and you your coworkers give you that look and you're like, uh, okay, I gotta get the standard black laptop bag. So yeah, it's kind of yellow. I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know, YouTube. Uh, let me know. Are scanners something that I should potentially look into? I know printers probably difficult to get, especially since they're big. They weigh a lot, and usually the ink is going to be empty. Now, I should have looked on eBay to see if the these radials, these are, are like retro radials, if they move much on there. Uh, these keyboards, I took a look at them. They were like USB or the wireless keyboards. They don't have much of a resale value on eBay. So yes, look at on the top and look at all the cables because sometimes you know you'll find a cable that you may need. So I, I did buy at a Goodwill uh, a few weeks ago a portable DVD player. It didn't have the um, the power cord, so I I know that um, I know that I will find the power cord for it. It's one of those like brick power cords that's like a nine volt. I just need to find the right piece that's a nine volt piece. So. Always look on top because sometimes you you will find like wires and cables that you may have been pondering and getting or you need. So definitely worth a look. I know that they had these uh, airports uh, on there. I didn't. These are hit or miss. Plus you don't know if they work or not. Uh, again, with any electronic, it's all sales are final. You want to plug those in, see if those work. They didn't have the power adapters for those uh, Apple airports. But if you walk around, you see that they had quite a bunch of accessories on the very. Only because you've seen the calculator in my cart for almost the whole video. Moment of truth. Will it work? Will it turn on? No, it did not turn on. It did not work. I, I even tried flashing the light, seeing if, if, if it worked or not. But sadly, this calculator is dead. Maybe somebody can get it working, but it's just something that, for me to list on eBay, I, I don't know, to list a non-working calculator. I know other people do, but I just won't do that. Okay. That's all today. I mean, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you want to see in my next videos. Again, please bear with me. I'm still learning these iMovie. Uh, hopefully I can get better as I come along, but thanks for watching.